These doors were originally plain. We added some molding to create this pattern. Welcome to the Martinez Casita. We like to call ourselves weekend DIYers. When we bought our home, we had no experience with renovations. She still didn't even know how to use a power tool. So for Andrew's closet, we installed these bifold doors, which we absolutely love. These doors were originally plain, but what we did was we added some molding to create this pattern and painted it black to make it pop. We also installed this gold hardware just to give it a nice little accent. This closet originally had a wire shelf and a single closet rod, but we replaced that with this whole closet system. And whenever you're moving any type of shelving, it's typical to get holes that are left behind on the walls. It's totally fine. All you're gonna do is take some spackling, fill in those holes, and then you're gonna sand it until it's smooth, then paint it the same wall color, and you'll be as good as new. So this is our entryway in a gallery wall of our wedding photos. So we added the sconces to create a spotlight for these photos. There's actually no electrical running to these sconces. You take remote controlled, battery operated puck lights, glue them directly to a three quarter inch threaded PVC plug. And once that's glued together, you just screw it directly into the light socket. We have a tip for hanging anything up onto your wall. You first take painter's tape and run it along the back side of your piece, covering the holes on the hanging bracket. Transfer those holes to the tape. Next, take the painter's tape and put it on the wall where you want to hang your piece. Level the tape and then make the holes where you mark them on the tape. This will ensure that your piece will be level and the holes will be exactly where we need them to be. There's no more guessing. This is the pantry that we created to store all of our dishes as well as our coffee bar. For this project, we started by demoing the existing shelves and creating a tile backsplash. We decided to erase the subway tile in a herringbone pattern to make it a little more visually interesting. And we also created these shelves out of pine boards. And what we did was we anchored them to the sides of the wall rather than the back to avoid drilling into the tile. So this bathroom renovation really put our skills to the test, even removed and replaced the shower tile. It's extremely important to waterproof your shower walls before installing the tile. This is to ensure water doesn't seep through the grout and cause any water damage or mold. There are different ways to waterproof your shower walls, but this is the method that we use. You would replace any existing drywall with cement boards, then you would take a waterproofing membrane and apply it directly to the cement board. Once that's dry, you're ready to apply your mortar and start installing your tile. In order to get through the tile without cracking or breaking it, use a carbide drill bit attached to your power drill. I have to say, we definitely improved over time. Like the saying goes, practice makes perfect. We also started some home renovations for our family and friends, and we're so excited to see where the next journey will take us. Thanks for visiting and hanging out with us at the Martinez Casita. We hope to see you again soon. Bye.